So what goes into designing these spacesuits? A lot. <laughs> they are probably the most uh, technically advanced product in my 27 years of building technical product that I've ever made. The heat and moisture management was key for us. The second one was mobility. When they reach that, that, that moment, they are going to unbuckle from their seats and they are going to be free to move around the cabin mm -hmm. in zero gravity, which they've never done. So we needed to make sure that the suit didn't inhibit any of that. So how do we increase mobility in a suit that is a one-piece suit that needs to do certain things, they've got base layer underneath it, so, so how do we design mobility into this to the, to the level that we really haven't had to do in the past? There's been a, a lot of discussion about how space gear is primarily optimized for men. How do you ensure that the spacesuits are available for all different types of sizes and, and genders as well. When it was time to do the women's flight suits and base layer, I sort of parked everything I had done for men over onto one side and just looked at making product for women to fit them correctly um, and, and, and play with the aesthetics to a degree that I could. I had separate inspiration boards for women that, that for, women. for women and men and, and, and I wanted to draw like so when I looked at sort of like pop culture like space movies mm -hmm. and things to get inspiration mm -hmm. of like where do I go with some of these uh, design lines or features or, or cut lines or sew lines and how do I want to accentuate uh, parts of the body or hide parts of the body on, on both for men and women. Um, I looked at women completely separately and completely uh, just for them. So, the, so these suits that are for the base layer, top and bottom, and the flight suits are for women. It's not a takedown of the men's suit at all. When you were researching and looking for inspiration, did you feel like there were opportunities available to seek inspiration for both women and men? Admittedly, a lot of my inspiration came from pop culture. So, you know, we all grew up watching space movies. And so it was, I found it pretty easy to sort of pull inspiration for women to, uh, to put into the suit. That was a big thing for us was like, how do we deliver this sense of I'm going to space right. to a person that's never been to space? And so it couldn't be a costume. It couldn't be so far removed from reality that people would feel silly in or it. inauthentic. Or inauthentic. And so so the, the the functionality drove the design, really look and feel of the suit. The pop culture references or the, the aesthetics were really sort of like just playful touches that we wanted to have on the suit to, to make it just that much more special and that much more unique. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.